every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Our guest today will be Stan Harley of the Harley Stock Market Letter. If you remember a few weeks ago, Stan said to look for October 2nd or 3rd, well, October 3rd, because that was a Monday, there'd be a possible bounce in the stock market, and bouncy, bouncy, we certainly are seeing that. I'll cover that in just a little bit, but the chart to talk about today, folks, is in play right now. This is natural gas. You'll notice here that we are down at the 78% level. You notice that it stopped at the 50% level. It went through the 61% retracement like it didn't exist. And right here, the low of the day was 630. Uh, the buy would have come in right at 633. Uh, the last time I saw it was like 642. Now, uh, with that in mind, you have a break-even trade now because you would put your stop at break-even after seeing it rally 10 cents off that because your total risk on that was 500, and now with the market rallying a little bit, your risk has been narrowed down to just about $300 uh, in the natural gas. So that's what we're paying attention to here. Folks, I, I, part of the reason why I do this show is I, I learn a lot every time I go through this stuff, and I certainly want to go through. Uh, we had some wonderful positions coming on uh, today, and uh, basically what we were watching, of course, was the uh, stock indices, and I said in the newsletter that this market is either going to unfold, un unravel Sunday night, or it's probably going to rally. And at that time, the Federal Reserve came out and caused, uh, had an emergency closed meeting. And when I saw that, I happened to be chatting with Tom Hugard, and by golly, Tom uh, said, you know, I'm nervous enough. I said, I am too. I said, but I got to go with what the charts say. And the market, I'll, I'll go through that stock stuff in a little bit. But getting back to the natural gas, whether this works or not, I don't know. But it's all about risk control. That's all we're worrying about here is risk control. That's the main thing and the only thing we're looking at. Now, since we're talking about the stock market, or we're going to in just a minute, I want to get this up here and just give you an idea of what was happening Today, the key thing that I was watching, <coughs> excuse me, folks. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> just a second here, and I'll be right with you. So hold on. Just a second. I've got to find it. And where is it? Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, oh, here it is. Here's where we are. Now, I was using the Dow Jones E mini, and the reason for that, folks, was because it was the stronger of the three that I watched NASDAQ, which I seldom trade. And then the uh, the, the uh, Dow Jones E Mini, Nasdaq, and the uh, and the S and P. So here's where we were Sunday night. You can see here we opened a little bit higher. That was right at a 61% retracement of the high that we made right back here. We come down and we make a new low. Okay, and then we went up and we hit the exact 382 of that move, folks, from the high we made on uh, Friday. And I said, okay, if we get above that which was 2960, I said, this, this thing's going to have wheels. And you can see here, we made a perfect Gartley here at uh, 2870, uh, at 28760. And now we're trading at, uh, you know, way up here at uh, 31,000, whatever the heck it happens to be, or 29,000 and change. So it's moved 350 points. But look here at the open. You see the opening here? You pull back, you, you have you complete the ABCD, you back off about 120 points, stop right at the exact 382, and boy, then the buying came in. And when you see that buying thrust like that, folks, stand aside because that's those algorithmic boys, and they don't play with their own money. They're playing with somebody else's. So with no skin in the game, they can do whatever they want. So that's why you get these, these huge rallies that occur. And speaking of huge rallies that occurred, boys and girls, 
let's say hello to the the Lone Ranger, Mr. Silver himself. I mean, this is a phenomenal move that we're having in Silver, folks. And if I can, boy, I'm having difficulty with the charts today, folks. I wish I, uh, uh, here it is. There we go. There we go. Here's Silver. We get this up here. It's right in front of me. All I got to do is look at it. Okay, here's the chart for Silver. As you know, we're very bullish on Silver. Uh, and uh, we had to pull back here five days ago at the 78% level. That's when we were buying the gold. I'll go through gold in just a minute. But you'll see here that we've completed the ABCD. And as Steve Rhodes was just on the show saying it's completed it. But, folks, when you've got a bar in silver that is that big, you, you can rest assured that that AB leg is going to be somewhere up in here. It's not going to be AB equals CD. See, it's already exceeded it. So with that wide-ranging bar like that, Bada bing, bada boom, it's telling you it's going to go a lot higher. So that's mainly it. So that's pretty much what we're watching. Now, let's go through one other question we had from Mike. He asked a question about the, the Chinese stock market. I'll get this up here. This is the long-term weekly in the Chinese stock market. I believe it will be the long-term weekly if I can ever hit the right button. Hold on here one second. This is FXI, which is the ETF for the Chinese market. And as you can see here, we just made uh, new lows down in here today. Uh, this line that we're looking at right here is, is nothing more than the 1.618 expansion of this. Tells you that's where we are. We're setting right at the 1.27. We just took this out today. Folks, if this rally on October 3rd is the, is the low for the year, I'm thinking of a word from the southern parts of the United States down by Mexico. Oh, wait, sayonara happens to be Japanese, isn't it? Shut the front door. Anyway, uh, I'll, have to, I'll have to go back to using moving averages if the low is today. We've had a nice 700-point rally off the bottom and probably more to come, but that's all we're going to get. My guess is it'll be a quiet three-day rally, and uh, then we'll find out you know, where the market is going to go from that level. But that's, uh, that's what we're paying attention to now as we, as we look at this uh, coming in today. So hopefully we'll get a pretty good idea of what some of this stuff is doing and we'll get a uh, better handle on uh, what, what we have. But we, we, we should get at least a two- or three-day rally off of this thing because of the fact that, uh, you know, we down so hard and that this thing was so bearish coming in, hanging out there, and it just literally had to stop because if it didn't, it was really going to melt down. And whoever started the buying, it was I was doing some short covering, but I didn't go long. And that was what upset me is when I had the, the buy signal there. I'll, I'll just point it out to you again because I saw that. And I'm sitting there with my hand on the toggle. It was, uh, it was like 2 o'clock in the morning. I just, uh, I just woken up. And uh, where is it? Uh, here it is right here. Let's get it back up here so we can see it. And I said, well, I ought to send out a quick video on this. And by the time I said I ought to send out a uh, quick video on it, you can see here's where we were right there. And by the time I finished that sentence, it had moved 100 points. And it never moved, uh, never moved farther than that. So we'll be right back. booming inflation where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, diverse partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. Call, call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks. I wanted to bring out the gold. You know, we bought the gold on the 382 pullback that was uh, uh, right back here, okay? And then what happened uh, today, uh, I, you know, we, we had a really nice profit in that, and so I said, we'll take the profit. And actually, we went short up in here and had a really nice $7 profit, went right down to the target here at uh, 16 uh, 66 and then look what happened. It just took off to the upside when, when silver was pulling the whole train. But uh, this is, we, we've gone over $100 an ounce, folks, from our 16 22 well, almost 100 We're at $90 right now. But uh, we made a low at 16 22 We hit 17 02 So that's up uh, about 80 bucks in, in a matter of, uh, what, five trading days. This is real what's going on in the gold market. I Unfortunately, I made some on it, but I left a lot on the table. And I've got to forget that because I can't let it affect, uh, you know, the other things that I'm, you know, paying attention to because, uh, you know, those things have to be taken care of. But uh, that's pretty much it. The overall uh, stock market, someone just asked a question, is still bearish. This, is a, this should be a, a little bit of a bounce. It was not unexpected. If you remember on the show, uh, last uh, Friday, we were talking about the importance of Apple because Apple is, uh, you know, the largest of the stocks. Uh, more, more people own that than anything else. And if we take a look here at the stock on Apple, uh, I think you'll enjoy this because we were bringing that to your attention here uh, last week. And again on Friday, the ABCD on this right at the 78 percent level came in at 30, thirty nine dollars and 11 cents. And you can see the low was. Uh, 37.86. And of course, we're trading at 41 right now. Now, how much of a rally will we get from here? This one only lasted four or five days and then down it went again. That's what I'm looking for to see if that's what we get. And uh, we'll do one day at a time, but that's what we're watching here in the stock market. We should get some type of a bounce and then we're going to find out where we're going to go. Now, to, uh, we have Stan Harley today. Oh, I have a really important announcement. One of our old favorites is going to be back as a guest uh, either this week or next week. Bill Meridian of Cycles Research is coming back, and we'll have him on uh, shortly, and we'll have him on again shortly after that because he's always uh, fun to listen to, and he's uh, you know, a big promoter of uh, cycles and stuff, and uh, he, he does really great work. So... 
along with all the other guests that we have. The one guest that we have, to, um, Mr. Um, Norm Winsky, will be on Wednesday. Okay, uh, Tim Bost is in, of course, he's in southern Florida, uh, just so, just a little bit south of uh, Norm, and he got hit pretty hard and uh, with the hurricane, with water damage and stuff in his new house, but they're getting it all taken care of. He says it's going to take a few days to get it acclimated, so maybe next week we'll have Tim Bost on as our guest. And Thursday we have two, Thursday we have Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights, and Friday we will have Peter Lighties. I've confirmed it over the weekend, and again this morning, Peter will be with us Friday for a, a session starting early, however long it takes him to go through, you know, what he's uh, looking at here. So those are a couple things that we need to get out of the way. Now let's get back to some of the markets. We've covered the silver. I want to talk about trades that look like they're going to be home runs and don't work. Let's just take a look right here and I'll show you I'll show you the sequence because I happen to be in this and is watching it very closely. So this is basically how I, you know, trade when I'm looking at these things. As you can see right here there's where we had a perfect signal right there. That was at 112.20, okay? And I said, you know, you sell it there, you have 60 pips and a letter rip. And it was working really good. It had the tune of well over nine, almost a $1,000 profit in that, folks. It looked like it was going to never stop going down. That's what it looked like. Now, let's see what happened after that so that I can show you, you know, what I was looking at to determine, well, maybe this thing is not going to back off, you know, like what we thought it was going to do. So let me get it up here and you'll be able to take a look at it here. And uh, one second, get this, there we go. Here again, you're going to see the beauty of the old 382, folks. I mean, this is a gift that keeps on giving, let me tell you. By the way, uh, Mr. Tom Hugard and myself and David Paul are going to be doing a seminar live trading for two days, April 6th and 7th. And then April 8th, which is a Saturday, we'll be uh, teaching, review, and preparation for the next day. We have two days of live trading, live trading Thursday and Friday, and then uh, review and pre preparation and teaching for the, the coming week, you know, what we'll be looking for. You'll be able to trade right along with us with your telephones or computers and stuff. It's going to be held in Las Vegas, Nevada. The hotel is still to be determined. And uh, it'll be a nice place, of course, but we're there to work. We're going to be doing 10-hour days, uh, 10 hours on Friday, 10 hours on Saturday, and 8 hours on Sunday. And then there's going to be follow-up uh, for stuff after that time, too. So there'll be more information on it later on. And until that happens, I'll say very little about that. But anyway, you can look at the 382 retracements in the British pound, folks, after the bottom came in here at the uh, 103 and change level. We come up right to a 382 uh, this is where John Jameson bought the, the British pound, okay? And uh, this is where we sold it, and there was a 382 retracement in here, and then, of course, it kept going higher, and so you had to stand aside. The same thing happened with the euro. The euro had a huge, well, $700 in the euro, is, that's your first pro profit objective, and then it turned around and went back up again. The main reason for that, folks, is because of that dollar index. That dollar index hit some major stuff here. Uh, if you'll remember on the uh, the letter that we sent out this week, I'll I'll bring it up again so you'll be sure to see it. But this is no more than the old A B C D stuff. So there's where we were. You see, we had backed off and we had to hold that low at the 382, and we didn't, and that caused the pound, the yen, and all these others uh, started to move. Even the Australian dollar started to move a bit. So that's that's why you have to be a little bit careful. The good part of the patterns, folk, part about the patterns is when they work, they work perfectly. And when they don't work, and when they don't work, that's when you got to be careful. That's where the real problem lies in. Because it's not how much money you make, it's how money how much money you don't lose. And that's uh, where the key to all of this stuff, you know, lies. And so I see, oh boy, we're just smoking now. We just blasted up in the old S and P again. So. We're, gonna, we're up over 700 points in the Dow, folks. This is what you want to see because we're going to get one heck of a rally. Well, we've already had one heck of a rally, and it's going to be more, too. So we'll be uh, watching it, you know, as it keeps going higher and higher and higher and higher. So that's what we're going to be paying attention to 
uh, here today. So uh, our break coming up right now, we're going to have Stan Harley, Harley Stock Market Letter will be coming on. And uh, from that, we'll be uh, chatting with him uh, in a little bit. So stay tuned, 877-927-6648. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and hopefully we have Stan Harley, the Harley Stock Market Letter, on the air. Stan, are you there? Hello, Larry. I am indeed. How are you doing? I am doing good, and we have to put another feather in the Harley cap. I mean, you said October the 3rd might be a significant bottom, and by golly, it's some kind of bottom, that's for sure. Up 700 and some points in the Dow today. We are uh, we are rallying strongly. Uh, yes, we All are. in the context, uh, I believe, of a downtrend that has further to run, but yes. certainly in the near term, uh, we're, we're rallying strongly. Okay, the first chart we're looking at here is a uh, rather long-term monthly chart. You want to tell the folks what you're looking at here? Absolutely. Here, let me just bring it up on my uh, screen. And uh, there we go. Got it, got it in full screen mode now. Um, Larry, this first, this first chart, which uh, I just unfortunately clicked out of. There it is. There we go. Um, Uh, 
having a little technical issue here. It's okay. I have them all the time. <laughs> okay. Now we got it. Um, the first chart here is a chart of the Dow Industrials going back about 100 years, Larry. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I have found is that we tend to get significant low points on the chart about every 284 two months. 242 months, what am I saying? Um, that's a little over 20 years. We had a low in April of 1942. We had a low in June, a low in June of 62. Another springboard bottom in August of 82. Well, that was a big one. Yeah. That was a biggie. Yeah. Uh, that was the apex of a sideways structure that lasted about mm -hmm. 20 years. Mm -hmm. uh, another low in October 2002. Mm -hmm. And uh, the next low, assuming the pattern continues, uh, should be December 2022. Mm -hmm. uh, most cycles have some variance, some inherent standard deviation. This one, rather curiously and noteworthy, has zero standard deviation, an R squared equal to one, which is very, very unusual. But the pattern suggests, it should it continue, we should see an important bottom in December of this year, just you know, a couple months from now. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, it's really splendid to see your work unfold. And what's so nice about it, Stan, is you're telling us what's gonna happen ahead of time, and it's been happening, and people are very impressed with that. I mean, I've had probably five or six uh, you know, correspondences with people saying, when is Stan going to be on again? Because he talked about October 3rd. And I remember that very vividly because, you know, it's the first trading day of the month. And usually that's a bullish uh, bias because of the market. You know, people tend to buy on the first uh, day of the month, you know, whether they get the Social Security checks or, or what the reason is. There seems to be some bias on that that I've found. But uh, you've done a super job. I mean, I just uh, can't tell you how much we enjoy having you on. Now, number two that we're going to be looking at here uh, is uh, one that I know everybody will be interested in. It's the uh, daily of the Dow Jones Industrial Average. And we'll get this up. So. We can take a quick look at it or take your time with it because you. Oh, sure. Sir, well, sir, actually, sir, I was going to show the prior good. chart, which was the 84 month cycle uh, in the New York composite. And uh oh, I, well, could we do this one first and I'll go? Well, I'll OK, get the certainly. We'd be glad yeah. to. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's look at the Dow Jones chart. Yeah. Um, the market on Friday, uh, Thursday, Friday, late last week, pulled back into an area that happened to coincide with the February 2020 high, the so-called COVID high. Uh, that was also co coincident with the 200-week uh, moving average in the Dow Industrial. So uh, the confluence of those two things uh, served as support. Of course, the COVID high from 2020, former resistance, now support. So uh, as a technician, I look for a former high. If we're in a, in, in, a, in a pullback environment, I look for a former high point, former resistance, to serve as support. Now, we don't know how long that support will hold, just looking at the chart and, and, and that metric alone, but it does give us some kind of indication to look for some support developing in there. And I think it's gonna be short-term, short-term meaning we still have further downside to go, but uh, we are indeed getting a bounce from here because of because of that COVID high and the, uh, and the coincidence of the 200-week moving average. Okay, that's really a, uh really really interesting to see these unfold like this because it's really spectacular to to watch it unfold i mean i, I love cycles a lot as you know but uh when you see them happening uh li like you like you map it out i mean that's what's really now you want to which was the one you wanted to do next was the uh i was uh, the, the uh 84 month, seven okay. year, low yep. to low cycle chart. Yep. I, I'll bring that up right now. There we go, we'll get it up and yeah. running here. And previously on the show, I've shown the pattern of highs, which mm -hmm. tends to span nominally 84 months, i.e. seven years, sometimes a little less, sometimes a little more. Cycles, they aren't always as definitive as that 242 month that we just looked at. Generally mm -hmm. speaking, most market cycles have some variance. This is another very good one. And as one can see from the black vertical lines, uh, the lows come in pretty close to every 84 months, plus or minus. And uh, again, uh, projecting forward from the last one, the next low is due right in, in the vicinity of December 2022, about two months from now. Wow. That'll be right Not after there yet, the election. But, so, uh, yeah. we're, we're closing in on it fast. 
Uh, uh, we have a question for one of our listeners, Dan. And do you do anything with the election cycles? You know, the four-year election cycles. Have you worked with those at all? Uh, I don't find the market has a four-year cycle per se. Mm -hmm. What I have found it has a 49-month cycle, which is four years in one month, and uh, that's a that's probably that and its derivatives. Uh, it's Fibonacci derivatives is the is the dominant cycle month to month on, on the monthly charts. And we'll look at that in a future program. But absolutely, okay. uh, it's one to monitor very closely. OK, now, now we've already covered the Dow Jones Industrials up to date when we closed at twenty eight seven twenty five on Friday. Did we cover that chart? We did. And I thought we'd go to the S&P 500 chart next. OK, that's one we're going to go to. So hang with me and we'll be just fine. Uh, if I can find it, and you talk about technical difficulties, that's my middle name. Ah, we've got it right here. Let's just get this up here, and we'll be ready to go. What I uh, so, someone's asked a question: How many hours a day do you uh, do you work on this stuff? <laughs> uh, you don't even 12. count it. I know I don't count about twelve at, typically. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I'm up at six here on the East Coast, yeah. and I usually work till five or six. Um, every other day I try to get some exercise. I, I go run three miles. Um, mm -hmm. and, and today's my run day. <laughs> wow. So I'll, I'll probably knock it off about 4.45, 5 o'clock here on the wow. East Coast today. Um, yeah, it's strange that I do the same three miles uh, only. I, I'm driving. I'm not running. So. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the S&P here. Yes, Larry. Here is a... Uh, a, uh, a pattern I found just through trial and error, through an iterative process. What I've done is I found that all 100% of the high low pivots following the January 4th, 2022 high in the S&P 500, every single one without exception, has fallen within a couple of trading days of a perfect uh, Fibonacci ratio. All the dominant Fibonacci ratios, point 146, 0236, 382, 618, and so on. The seven, and I understand we have a commercial. Yep, so that's it. We got to pay a few bills. We'll be right back, folks, with Stan Harley, the Harley Stock Market Letter. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, and we're talking with Stan Harley of the Harley Stock Market Letter. And Stan, we're going to be talking about the S&P 500. So do you want to continue finishing up this chart? Yes. Uh, what I found in looking at all the high-low pivot points since the January 4th high in the S&P, uh, I was able to put them into a spreadsheet and do what's called a regression analysis of the data, which constructs an equation that uh, defines the best fit to the data series. And then with that, I can project into the future. So what I have are the data points all the way through 0.691 Fibonacci ratio. And then mm -hmm. I'm able to model all the prior points. And then with that information, I can project into the future potential reversal points. Mm -hmm. So having oh, done yes. that, I'm able to calculate the 0 0.764, 0 0.854, and the 1.00 ratio points in the future. And I know the historical variance standard deviation so I can I can mm -hmm. say with some degree of prospective confidence <laughs> I use that term loosely um, but but from a mathematical perspective uh, I can say okay we should look for a potential reversal in, in the in the area of 0.764 from the high and that's right now and we appear to be making a low in the present time frame yes the, we certainly are the next point in the future, the dominant Fibonacci ratio is the 0.854 point, and that happens to occur right around November 7th, plus or minus about two, two and a half trading days. Well, I think we have an election on November the 8th. I, I hadn't heard about it, but I guess if you say it is, it must be so. <laughs> so my guess is, should the pattern continue, we would expect some type of reversal. Doesn't tell us whether it's gonna be a high or low right now. We need to look at things as we get closer and closer to it. Then we can use indicators that measure overbought, oversold, and then we can say with a greater degree of confidence, okay, I think this is gonna be a high or I think it's gonna be a low. Right now, all I can do is say, the analysis would suggest a trend change right around election day. And then when I take it all the way out to the 1.00 point, um, that, suggests a turning point, a change in trend right around December 29th, December 30th of this year. And now that's the a prior that, charts that's that we a... looked at are suggestive of a very important low in December. So right now, uh, my thinking, Larry, is we're going to have a very important stock market low right, right at the last week of December of this year. Okay, well, you've been pretty good so far, pal. So believe it or not, we're going to have you on a lot more times between now and December. <laughs> we have, before we get to the Case Shiller Home and Price Index, we've got a uh, question from one of our listeners. Uh, what uh, what pro computer program do you use if you use one to develop all of these dates and cycles? Um, and is it available commercially? That was the question that he asked. Um Nothing sophisticated at all, just a simple spreadsheet. Uh, so what Get I do out of is here. I, really? I plug the data points into a spreadsheet and uh, periodically oh. I show them on, you know, in our interviews here. Um, didn't yeah. today, but maybe in a future, future interview I'll, I'll show the, the nuts and bolts exactly how I calculate these things. But wow, uh, yeah, awesome. simple spreadsheet uh, is all it takes and it's uh, 
wow. something I learned in MBA school, how to do yeah. extensive regression modeling. Um, this is just linear regression, simple y, y equals mx plus b type stuff. Wow. And, uh, and it allows us to make these computations and, and then project into the future potential change in trend dates. Okay, the next one, everybody will be affected by this, but this is uh, the Case-Shiller uh, Home Index, I guess? Yes, this is the Case-Shiller Index. There are uh, a number of, there are 20 <clears throat> regional indices around the country, and 10 major regional indices of the major metropolitan areas, areas, and there's a national index. But they all tend to move up and down together, I have found, just like the Dow Industrials, the S&P, the NASDAQ. Mm -hmm. Very, very, very similar type thinking. Um, here is the the LA index, but the waveform looks just like the national index. It looks just like the New York index. It looks like the Phoenix index where you are. Um, and what I found is there's a 64 month cycle uh, in the data series, and I was expecting a high in the present time frame, mm -hmm. and it looks like we have in fact made a high in in, in real estate. Um, should the pattern continue, it would suggest we should be down for about 64 months. That's about five and a third years. That's what happened the last time when we peaked in September of 06, exactly 64 months later, marked the low in February of 2012. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I would expect something similar. So that suggests latter part of 2027, early 2028, we should see a bottom in real estate prices. Wow, totally awesome. That's just really... I really enjoy uh, chatting with you and seeing you do this stuff. But that's one thing, if you put it on your notebook to show us uh, how you, what it looks like when you're actually doing the physical works on your spreadsheet, I think the folks would like to see it, how it unfolds. I, I think that in itself would be something really cool to look at. Yes, we'll hey, do let, that. Listen, I'm different. going to let you go because I know you are swamped. I know you have alligators all over the swamp over there. And, of course, you're, you're beating them this time, and we've – You've been beating them for a long time, so keep up the good work, and we'll have you on again really soon. Okay, Stan? Thank you, Larry. I you look bet. forward to it. You bet. There's a stand-up guy, folks. Stan Harley, the Harley Stock Market Letter. He's been doing some great stuff here, so let's continue to see how he keeps doing, and I know we'll have him on again soon. Uh, I noticed that you know we're having the same type of rally that we had back uh, on September the uh, 28th when we rallied 900 points in the Dow Jones and then the next few days it uh, didn't quite do as well as we thought but that's neither here nor there but we're still rallying today so that's what really counts and you don't have to worry too much about it because as long as it's rallying it's rallying and that's what's really important so let's uh, we're gonna have to take a break here but before we do that let me do I've got it I've got to put an order in boys and girls I'm not done. <laughs> okay hold on just a second here the old cowboys got a Put the order in so that they don't try to sneak one by me here. Hold on a second here, and we'll be okay. All right. Now, the natural gas is up at uh, 644. The buy was down there at 634. I don't know if this is the bottom or not. All I know is that uh, it is very, very close, probably to a big bottom. But like we said in that paper or on the chart that we looked at, we don't know whether it's going to be a major bottom or not. The fact that it hit that number and it's bounced a little bit, the fact that it didn't go smashing through it, was a big deal, but uh, keep a close eye on that one, folks. That's one of, that's one that's going to be, you know, real interesting to, uh, you know, to pay close attention to. So that's uh, what we're watching here. Now I'm going to bring up this so I, I just did this so you folks can see the the rally itself, and then you can see the unfolding of it as we're looking right now. Ah, not good, not good. Hold on just a minute. I hit the wrong button. Just give me a second here. You know, I, I don't understand. When I'm by myself, I say words that I can't let anybody else hear. But when I'm on this air, I seem to have enough. Uh, where is the wise? Wise come after W's. Okay, here we go. I think this will do it. Oh, that's not what I want. I want to get down to a 15-minute chart, uh, and that'll be close enough here. We'll be right back, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. 877-927-6648.
Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the Opening Call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, here's the last few days. Uh, you can see the rally we here on the 29th. This is when the Federal Reserve came out and said things were going to be really great with that Atlanta Fed survey and the market gave it all back, came down to the 78% level to the tick, makes it perfect, A, B, C, D. We planned this one about halfway through this section right here. As we said, it should get right to there and then go down to there. And you can't get any closer than that, folks. I mean, that's just a simple A, B, C, D. And that's why we were looking at with Apple today. You know, the fact that, geez, maybe this A, B, C, D does mean something. Now, this move right here that you're looking at that takes you up to the 786 at 29.6, uh, that tells you that this would be equal to that. So this was only a one-day rally. This so far has been a one-day rally. It might extend to two, three, or four days rally, but we've got to be watching it very, very closely because this is a rally in a bear market, folks. If it's not, and if it's not, little Johnny's going to hold me to my word back there. And how do you spell resign, little Johnny? R-E-S-E-G-N-I-E -E -E, or something like that? Very good, Johnny. We're going to give you a gold star. Folks, live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless Try to do something good for your neighbors. Uh, you know, I think it's very, very important that we'll be able to do it. Tomorrow we may have Jim Bartoleone on uh, as our guest. Uh, and also possibly we'll have uh, Bill Meridian from Cycles Research. But for sure, on Wednesday we have Norm Winsky from Naples, Florida. 
had some damage, but he's doing okay. Thursday, we've got Steve, Jeff Huge, and on Friday, we got Peter Elides of Elides Stock Market Cycle or Stock Market Cycles. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. And we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow.